Are you struggling to add a dependency to your stack project? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, and today we're going to walk through the steps to successfully add the Conduit library to your project. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when you think you've done everything right, but something still doesn't work. You're not the only one who has faced this issue, and it's a common hurdle in Haskell development. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently asked how to properly add the Conduit library as a dependency after setting up their stack project. They edited both the stack YAML and the myproject.cabal files, but still ran into issues when trying to build. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out together. So, what might be going wrong here? When adding a library to a stack project, it's crucial to ensure that both the stack.yaml and the cabal file are correctly configured. If there's a mismatch or a missing detail, it can lead to build failures. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To properly add the conduit library to the user stack project, the first step is to ensure that the correct version of conduit is specified in the stack.yaml file. The user should check that the extra depth section includes the version they want. Next, the user needs to modify the myproject.cball file. This is crucial because it defines the dependencies for the project. The user should add conduit to the build depends section. After making these changes, the user should run the stack build command again. This will compile the project and ensure that all dependencies, including conduit, are correctly integrated. If the user encounters an error stating that the interface for Conduit cannot be loaded, it may indicate that the library is not properly installed or recognized. In this case, the user should verify that the correct version of GHC is being used and that the stack.yaml file is configured correctly. Finally, if the user continues to experience issues, they can try running stack clean followed by stack build. This will clear any cached build artifacts and force a fresh build of the project. Fun fact, the Haskell community is known for its friendly and helpful members. If you ever get stuck, don't hesitate to reach out for help. There's a good chance someone has faced the same issue. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests that instead of importing conduit, you should import data.conduit. This is because the Conduit module comes from the Conduit Combinators package. To use it, update your Cabal file to include Conduit Combinators in the Build Depends section. Additionally, you don't need to modify your stack.yaml file, since both Conduit and Conduit Combinators are available on Stackage. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always double check your dependency versions and ensure they are compatible with your project. This simple habit can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to add the Conduit library to your stack project successfully. Remember, keeping your dependencies organized is key to smooth development. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.